Hi everyone, good evening, good day to everyone guys here. Welcome again to my channel and today is we are going to learn or we are I am going to show you on how to register or uh, start your um, account or register your company to SAP Arriba. So what is SAP Arriba? Actually, SAP Ariba is one of the platform, a kind of network. It's a network that you can communicate to your client using this network. So it's a professional system that we are using here in UAE and the, the other countries to communicate to our client, like if we are making a purchase order or any. Um, like if we want to participate to any bidding events like that so we can check everything all the orders what they need or what our client needs in this network so if you are a suppliers guys um, I am suggesting or saying that please register to this network so you will be having a professional system to communicate to your um, client so this is not just a network or just an account this is very useful especially if you have a big clients or a big very big clients especially here in the UAE so actually this is what they are using and it's required for you also if you are a businessman or a businesswoman or if you are just an employee of a one big company or a supplier company. So let's start. I'll just share you my screen. Um, Not here, just a minute. I'll just fix. So, I think here. Okay. So, here, guys. What we all we need to do is just we go to our Explorer browser and uh, search for SAP Ariba supplier. Then if you see there, actually it appears a lot of uh, options where you will go. So we need to go here in the Ariba supplier supplier network or if it shows there that sub uh, Ariba supplier click that one so we're going here as long as supplier dot com that Ariba dot com shows you can click so here it is guys the home page of the Ariba network so there's an option also here, Ariba Discovery, Ariba Proposals and Questionnaires, Ariba Contract Management, and Ariba Network, of course. But if, uh, because we are going to register as an Ariba, or we, may, we will make an account, our, our company account to a SAP Ariba, we need to go here and then, of course, click the register now. Or if you have an existing account you can of course so uh, so uh, log in here but our topic today is how to register or make an account to separate by so just click the register now okay so it will show you here all the required that you need to provide to Sapariba, same as the department of finance then just put the company name or your name or any account that you want to register to separate but what i will recommend you guys just to make sure or uh, give the right one as per the license as per your company license so example
then select the right country. So where is your country? We are in uh, United Arab Emirates right now. And our license is in DED or United Arab Emirates. So address one, sample, our office number, Defense Road, Hazza, 51133 is in Abu Dhabi, then Abu Dhabi City, of course. And select states in Abu Dhabi, AE to AZ. Then user account information. So if you are an authorized person to um, to manage this account and the sub Ariba, you can put your name. Otherwise, put your owner name. So example, this is the owner name. Then the email. So if you want to use your email as a username, just check here. Or if not, put a username here. But I recommend guys that use your email as your username. And just put the, num the password. English, yes. And then read the terms of use and then the privacy statement of SAP Ariba. So, example we already read. So, check this too. Then register. So, just wait for the confirmation. Then, confirmation already received. So, action required. Check your email inbox for a message from Ariba. Click the link in the activation email sent to lsere at gmail.com. So we all, what we all we need is to ch let us check our email and click the link that they send. So we will just go to our email. So I'll just exit here. Uh, just, we'll just go to our email Just check the email, okay? Then click the link from Ariba. Just share my screen. So here it is. So if you see there, Dear Ella Olivares, click here to activate your Ariba accounts. So just click. then it will direct you there. Has been verified your Ariba username, lsera at gmail.com has been activated. So complete the company profile. So you already registered and you can now log into the using the account you registered or go to this complete my company profile later or go to my company profile. So we will click this company profile. I'll just check if it's showing our screen, if we're going to direct here. So it's still. 
then now here so complete the company information account guys you need to complete your company information account so example this is already done so what you just submitted to the registration is just the basic one but here guys all the required uh, they need is you need to put here okay so this is your network id an0151 then after completing the, or saving this one and you will go to your home uh, main home it will show here the any number okay for now we will just check Additional company address, if you have additional company address, you can put guys. And product and service categories, ship or to service locations and industries. So you need to complete this one. So just add. For example, I will put an events. Events events management just click the events management then add so if you have additional categories guys just search and add so ship to or service locations so abu dhabi abu dhabi just click there abu dhabi united arab emirates then add industries so if you have like if you don't have any information about this you can skip and back later so company keywords you can make also later so just save it save then check the others okay that they require so go to the business then check all here so you need to put your when the, you founded this company and then everything what they need here, you can read here. So here, the financial information and business information, of course. If you have the UNS number, put it. If not, you need to get it, but it's not required actually. Tax information, this is required. So you need to fill up all here. And here, guys, in the business type, just put exactly what uh, business type you have. Or if it's not mentioned here, just put other than put what, what is your business type? What is the business type you have? So here, so bank information you can create if you didn't, didn't yet add. And even the executive boards you can create also. And if you have, if you made any mistake, you can edit. No worries with that. And then the short shareholders, but that is not required as long as you put the tax information and the financial information and business information, it will be fine. And of course, the business type. So this is it's very simple. So actually, it's not all that you need to fill out. But the very important is the general questionnaire and then, and of course, the payment bank account details you need to provide to them because this is how they pay. And of course, the social networking links, if you have here in the marketing, you can add here to Twitter or LinkedIn if you have LinkedIn. So it's here. So as I said, the NB and the UNS number, it's not required actually, but if you have, you can. Add of course. Then, guys, of course, don't forget your uh, logo to upload and um, note also that the maximum width of the photo or your logo is at 250 pixels, a maximum height or 250 pixels, and a maximum size of 200 KB. So, if uh, you have a bigger, uh, big uh, logo, no worries with that because you can edit this one through online. So just edit or resize it. It will be better resize so you cannot crop. So all your logo uh, parts, it will show it to your profile. So here, we can skip this one because actually this is not required. But if you have, you can put also. Just save also after that. If you made any changes, guys, any parts of this or any section of this, don't forget to save.
So uh, it shows here if it's already complete your uh, public profile um, public profile, it will show here how many percentage you need to complete. So if it's not complete, it's fine also. It's okay. Because actually the very important here is you need uh, to complete the company information bank details like that. Then close. So guys, um, I will uh, recommend you also that uh, use the standard account. Don't use any up, uh, don't upgrade or but I mean if, if, if you need any upgradation or if you need to upgrade it, you can upgrade also of course. But the thing is um, be careful be careful for this. So this is the risk. Be careful because once that if you if you upgrade this one, uh, it takes like around two thousand two thousand euro. You need to pay, guys. So everything here, guys. You just need to complete all this one. So what is your primary business rule in your company? So you just need to click any one of this what is your position on your company so example you are a order management or let us say business owner then continue to the arriva network okay then you are already here in the home of the arriva network so guys, note also that if you are logging in to your SAP Arriba, use also the Explorer because this it will be fine everything. So right now we are using the Google Chrome because we, we just direct from our email. But I am suggesting or recommending or um, advising you to use the Explorer browser. So like and like if you are also using like or going to the department of finance or any entities of the government of the uae use the explorer so it's already here so you will see everything here so like here so if you want to edit your profile you can just click here or click here in the settings of the company then go to the company profile then here guys so all what is that there's <laughs> there's something flying so we just skip all of this we will make the other videos then this is your account just edit if you want to edit here in your account then after that, here in the discovery and Ariba proposal and customer Ariba contract management. So we'll go to the Ariba proposals and questionnaires. So guys, if you are not yet registered to the ADNOC and the, to the Department of Finance, because there will be an invitation, as I told you, from the Department of Finance that you need to receive before um, registration or complete your registration. So if you want to learn also all the um, like about everything or the premium one or let us say advanced, you want to learn in advance about the sub Ariba, you can also check all of the um the guide they have in sub Ariba. So there will be after this one, after registering or completing your registration, it will be showed here there is an Ariba sources. So you will, sh you will see all the like, uh, like uh, Department of Finance, Etihad Airways, like that. All, all the major, major companies that you registered before, you had registered before, it will show on your Ariba sources. So we will just go here in our company profile. So this guys, it will show here, this one, there, all the section here, it will show that there is 
is still pending. So later on, if you want to complete, you can just go and complete it. The important is we already made our account in SAP Ariba. And we have already the any number that we, we, we can show or we can give to our client. So I'll just show you one thing also, this one. Users, so actually for the users, you can add um, how many users as long as you want or how many you want. So like example, if, you, if this uh, SAP Ariba is under the company name, you can add a manage users or manager or a users on your account. So it will show here everything on your account settings. So for now, we can stop here and then we can continue on the next video on how to make an invoice or submit or uh, how we can receive an invitation from the Department of Finance or from the SAP Arriba, how we can update our information, okay? So guys, if you like this video, please don't forget to like and of course to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button for more notifications from our channel videos. Thank you so much and thanks for watching guys. Thank you, thank you again.